the video, guys. Today is going to be another... So for today's video, guys, we're going to do absolutely nothing. Said it. Just kidding, guys. I'm three videos in on my channel, and I have not done a day in the life vlog. So I think I need to be a official YouTuber today and do a vlog. What we have today is a workout. And yeah, just wherever the wind blows us. Don't know what workout I'm gonna do, but I guess we'll find out when we get to the gym. That's kind of what I do with all my workouts. Whatever I'm feeling that day, I don't really go in there with a plan of the muscle groups I'm gonna work that day. I kind of just freestyle once I get there. I've been doing it for a while that I can get away with doing that, but it's probably best if I don't do that. So yeah, we're gonna get ready for the gym. Before I go and work out, I have a very specific pre-workout routine that I do, I have to do every time. I already took a shower, that's step one. Cold shower, wake me up. Step two is, I can't be going look like alfalfa. We gotta fix that. Next thing, we got some growth oil for the beard. Also because uh, you can't see it, but these hairs always flare out, especially for me. So I put a little growth oil on just to help set it down. to go. One thing I am very particular about is, I don't know why I'm particular about this, but every time I use the growth oil, I always think that it drips down. So what I always do is just wash it, give it a little pat. Then I throw it back in there. But what I use is the beard club. Not sponsored, but I just like their products and it helped me grow a beard because about two, almost two years ago, September, I couldn't grow a beard at all. So if you're in the market want to grow a beard, I would recommend checking them out. Pretty good. Last thing is I have an affinity for colognes. So I just use Scentbird. It's like $30 a month and they give me three of these. I think if you just do one, it's only like eight bucks a month. So I would recommend doing it. They give you like different options every month. So uh, usually what I do is walk. Oh, what cologne am I going to get today? Open it and I just grab a random one. Today we have Bioni. Um, smells pretty good. So, what I always do is they give you one of these, throw it in there. And I just take this in the car with me. I'm going to mix up the pre workout. So, Today I got uh, Mother Bucker. I like it, it's, it's pretty good. Um, the only thing I do not like about it is because, have you ever had that feeling, I know you have, when you're about to throw up or maybe you had a little one too much drinking, you start to get that cotton mouth and you're just like, <sighs> but it just won't come up. That's what I feel like happens every time I take this, but <laughs> this was, about 60 bucks, so I mean, I gotta deal with it for however much longer I have. But overall, I do actually enjoy this workout by Bucked Up. Uh, it's primarily a nootropic. It's got pump, focus, strength, and energy. It's got beta alanine, so the tingles. The guy said this was a lot stronger. It was double the dosage, which I don't doubt because my face was just itching like there was no tomorrow. I felt like there was an ant pile on my face. Uh, it's got nitrogen, nitrocene, 
Atrocyne? If you know how to pronounce it, uh, put the enunciations in the comments so I know. Uh, but it's just help with focus is what it says, cognitive fo function. Caffeine, it's got 300 milligrams and then 100 milligrams of extended release. That's fancy, I know. But basically what that means is it's got the extended release is it's gonna help you not crash. Tyrosine, so you're always stoked in the gym. Uh, alpha GPC, so just helping you focus. Synactive, uh, basically what this is gonna help with more ATB, ATP for your muscles to be able to hit out that extra rep. Raw, raw scene. I believe that a lot of people take raw scene uh, when they're trying to lose some fat because supposedly there's some great benefits to that, but I'm not really the smartest when it comes to pre-workout science ingredients. You should probably look up uh, the science-based community for that, like more plates, more days. I just know the workouts and nutrition. I'm gonna throw that thing right in there. And we're gonna shake it up. I was gonna have a banana pre-workout, but this thing is still not ready to go. Chinitos, man, come on. I'm trying to get my pre-workout bananas, but enough talking. Let's go lift. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Just got to the gym about 10 minutes ago while well, I'm in the parking lot. Finished consuming the pre-workout, been letting it and itch my face off for the past 10 minutes. Really just sitting here contemplating what in the world am I gonna do today in my workout. And I got about 40 minutes, which is a perfect amount of workout time because I got a busy day ahead. So I think I wanna go back to one of my old school workouts that when I was playing college soccer and I'm gonna just do a full body explosive performance type day. Let's get into it. Apply the cologne before I go into the gym. I don't know about y'all, but when I'm in the gym and I smell somebody next to me that has obviously not put on cologne or deodorant, it just grinds my gears. So always make sure you smell good when you go in the gym. It's just common courtesy to the people around you to at least not smell like B.O. All right, guys, starting out with some foam rolling. It's mandatory for me every time I step foot in the gym. Get that lingering soreness and little last nods out of the body. As you can tell right here, my facial expression says it all. That thing was hurting me today. Now we get some Spidey Man rotational lunge. Great full body mobility. Next is some fire hydrants. Open up the hips. First exercise, some face pulls. Upper back and posterior shoulder muscles to get the firing. Push press, 40 pounds warm up. Just focusing on getting the movement pattern down and really making sure the exercise is nailed down. Now we got some dumbbell RDLs. You guys hear it all the time. Push the hips back, keep the core tight, drive through the heels. Now we got some single arm push press, working with 70 pounds. I think I was just doing three reps, but here, hand over the stomach, tell myself to keep my core tight because that's something I fail to do. Now we got our heavy RDL set. Same thing, keep that core tight. Now we really want to squeeze it tighter just to keep that back even more protective with the heavier weight. Now we got a favorite of mine, some ATG elevated front lunge split squats from the ATG man himself. Sometimes I'll do this in mobility, sometimes I'll do the exercise. Today I did it more as an exercise. Now we got some plank position hip extension raises. I think that's what they're called, don't quote me on it. That always helps my tight back. Now we got some heavy strength incline barbell bench press. I know what you guys are going to say. Griffin, why didn't you do this at the beginning when you're more fresh and had the most strength? Well, today I wanted to progressive overload and test my strength levels by putting this at the end of my training session. See where I'm truly at strength-wise. Focusing on the control down with a pause. Drive back up as hard as I can. And that'll wrap up the incline. Did three sets of that. Now to finish, we got some chest slides. You guys know chest slides is a great one for really getting a contraction and squeeze expanding that chest open you can see i took my fingertips off to really drive the elbows in use my chest more now you guys love when i did the posing in the last video so i might as well do it again give y'all what y'all want i'm not a bodybuilder i've never competed i don't think i have plans of competing in any show because i just 
It's not something that interests me, but you guys like the poses. So let me know how you like my poses. And hit a little bicep flex. Uh. That was my workout. Yeah, it is 444 right now. If I had an Apple Watch, I would have burned 444 calories. And I was in the gym for 40 minutes. So I think that is a sign from the astrology that I should get a 4 for 4 from Wendy's. If any men or women that are into astrology think I'm on the right track, let me know in the comments. But I'm going to go home and shower now because I got an event to go to for my cousin. We're going to have some pasta and amongst of many other things. So this is a pretty monumental moment because I just work out and work. So see you guys then. Alright guys, here's what I'm rocking, just a simple black and white flannel, black scoop, black jeans, and got some bands for the red, just match the red on the hat, keep it simple, usually my favorite color is the rocker, just black, pretty simple, goes with each other. Man chat, I just took a big fat L because I've had this tripod for months, and I didn't even know it could extend this high, I thought it was just limited to that height only, but I guess apparently not. Could have saved like 150 bucks by not buying this, but I just took a big fat L. Woo! A little late guys, gotta put a move on it, but quick tip is if you got a busy day and you can't get a meal down, get you a core power leech. Got 42 grams of protein. Really any protein drink is fine if you're on a busy day. The only thing that is a little weary to me is the sugar is seven grams of sugar. But I mean, after a workout, it's really not a big deal. And I hardly consume sugar just from fruit. So I'm not really tripping about it. But I will say after a workout, sugar is really good to consume. It's because everything is ready to absorb your body. It's like a sponge. So the sugar will help you recover, get, help get the protein into the body faster and just get the gains. I'm gonna drink this up. And I also put some collagen powder in here. I'm trying to put on a little bit more size. So I've done it before and I know what's about to come. My joints are going to probably be hurt in the future. So always want to take some collagen just to help your joints feel better. And it's also good for the hair, skin, and nails. So add some collagen to your protein if you want to improve any of those areas. That is going to wrap up today's video. I appreciate and love you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. And if you want to see more videos day in the life, let me know in the comments and I will keep making them. All in all, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. See you guys in the next one. I'm about to pass out. Peace.